Good evening, everybody. Sorry for the five minute delay, what we had. A very warm welcome and a very good evening to a very special scintillating Saturday today. We have uh, many reasons to what you call, call this uh, scintillating Saturday special. The first main reason being because it is going to be the women's month, 8th March, as we know, is an International Women's Day. And this time the theme, theme also goes very well with the spirit that NGH holds for not only the female patrons, but also for the males that is embrace the equity. Embrace the equity is one thing which they have said ki they are trying to empower women all over the world with the digital technology. And I'm very lucky and very thankful to my NGH family and my banner for giving me the opportunity to learn digital. Only after coming here, actually I've started understanding the digital technology. So the second more important, what you call uh, thing is that we have just completed our uh, offline seminar in Vadodara. The memories are still lingering and it was a beautiful one. Many of you have missed it and I hope you continue joining us in the next coming offline, uh, what you call uh, seminars. And the most important thing today is, since we are celebrating Women's Day, we have our doyen and our what you call, what you call prolific teacher, guide, Dr. Vishwala Parthasarthi, ma'am, without uh, whom, I mean, I don't think so, uh, at least the NGH family members, the male and the female, uh, look upon anybody else as their guide and their teacher. So. Ma'am, without wasting much time, I welcome you all, welcome you again to uh, the Scintillating Saturday webinar today. And uh, moreover, uh, dear NGH family members, the topic that we have today is also very unique. And I don't think so anybody can do a better justice than ma'am to this topic. So without wasting much time, I request ma'am to begin with the webinar. Ma'am, we're not able to hear you. Vishwala, ma'am? Not able to hear you. I think you to unmute yourself. I'm so sorry. I had muted myself. Yes, ma'am. So we've had a lot of things happening in the last 24 hours. Uh, our topic today was supposed to be female. And uh, then what happened was that that immediately brings to the mind all men's age, men are, men of all, all these problems. But there is this huge chapter, which I feel in women's life, which we give very little credence to, which are like adjustment problems. So then, uh, my co-speaker, Dr. Lata, uh, was, uh, was also very taken up with this. And she said, no, you do this. And uh, the, we will, uh, our next topic, our next month seminar, she will conduct mainly. And that will be on, other, on the topic that we talk about, men's and men are all bleeding things. But today we want to give a lot of credence to adjustments, right? From every, from the time we are born, the girl child has to adjust, okay? Especially if she is the second child. The first girl child is lucky. She's called the Lakshmi and kept up. But then the second girl child, oh, we didn't want a girl. We wanted a boy. And so her problems start right from that time. Then comes Menark, which is early these days at 10, 11. And she accepts her changing body. Then you have these many menstrual problems which we will discuss and discuss again and again. Then with marriage, she has to adjust. Then when the children come, she's happy, but there's a lot of adjustment. And then oh, she, they grow up and she thinks, now is my time. But then menopause hits. So she really has tough time, right? So to 
all this we had, I thought, and then we had Holi this week. And so uh, we had Holi, then we had Women's Day. So I said, how are you going to put all this together into one webinar? So what really got me very excited this week, one of my teachers said, oh, wonderfully, we play Holi with homeopathy. So I was really fascinated by this statement. I started thinking, such a wonderful era we are in. Homeopathy is grown in such diverse, difficult ways to see suit every palette, right? And even my friends who are homeopathic masters in their own right, I tell them, you know, some of them, I love you, but your method doesn't suit me because I am not so creative. And some of their methods really need you to take jumps and leaps and whatever they call it. So I can't uh, adopt that. But no problem. I can adopt other things they say. So there is everything. There are methods to suit every palette, every aptitude. So let's first start with Holi. This is a little fun thing. So Holi with homeopathy. So there are colors. The colors we did ever, ever think of so much there is in colors with homeopathy. Any significance? So there is. So we'll do some of the colors. The bright colors, they love it. The lac delphinum, you know, the dolphins, they love bright colors. And who doesn't like bright colors? Silesia. Silesia always likes dark colors and we see more of Silesia like that. Not only that, it's aggravated by a bright color. And who are ameliorated by it? Tarantula and Sermonium. Then we have black. So Ignatia loves black, black humanum and ozone also, and also ameliorated with uh, black Ignatia. But more ameliorated, you'll see later, is red. That he loves black, but Ignatia is ameliorated by red. And Ignis and Vanilla don't like black. At all. Blue, we have desires, light blue, caucus, and aversion, chocolate, and tarot. Dark blue. There are so many types of blue, so we have to take all the blues. Desires again lack delphinum because it's nice and bright. And aversion. Sepia and vanilla. Okay. Then we have navy blue. Again, Ignatia likes it because life is generally dull, so it likes uh, some color in it. Turquoise. Who likes turquoise? Spongia, Natsonica, Sepia. And who is ameliorated by Misha. Brown. You have again different brown. So Germanium and Mangifera like brown, dark brown. Silesia likes always wears dark brown. Many times, not always. Light brown, Natsonica and Sepia. And changing colors every day, different colors. I don't want the same color again and again. Mom, the baby says, Mom, I don't want yesterday I want red. Today I want green. Today I want blue. So that is pulsatilla. Lovely frog, no? With so many colors. Cream, it ameliorates and makes me feel good, says Phosphorus. Dark colors, tarantula, falcopi, lachesis, triticum. All like dark colors. And green, you have desire for in Germanium, Mangifera, Tarantula, and aversion, chocolate and Antimta. Ignatia likes light green shirt and black pants. It's written over there. It's very strange. Huh? So nail paint in different colors. Falcon feet. Light colors, desires, tulex. Chalicia never wears light colors and ameliorated by Natsomeca nitric acid, sepia, tarin. Chocolate, no, sorry, maroon. Chocolate likes maroon. It's closest to it. It is also the same color. So I wrote over there RT. You may say chocolate is a color also. So I wrote RX, you know, for chocolate as a remedy. Orange, triticum and faucet. Like orange, but the averse is Ignatia, Pulsitella, Lachesis, and Natsoma. Then you have pink. Pink is like very baby color. So once there was a patient who really came everything in pink, you know, 
she had a pink hairband, pink bag, pink dress, pink shoes, everything pink. Even a little knapsack was pink. So then uh, with her things fitting in, gave falsitilla and she did rather well on it. And ameliorates is phosphorus calcarea for Ignatia and steps. You have red. You have uh, desires. Bani C. We just did Bani C in our study in um, the, we are doing that study of the fifth subclass, which is the Roside subclass. Bani C is like, uh, you know, a very shaman remedy. So there are a lot of in that group of Malfi scale, a lot of remedies which are drug remedies like coca and all. So Bani C comes into that. We just did it. So it also desires red. And tarantula, of course. Uh, Possible. Ameliorate, I told you, uh, though life's black, but it is better by red. And who don't like, again, Tarantula doesn't like it. You often have that, you know, likes and aversion. And I mean, violet, we have aversion. Actually, violet, purple, these colors, you know, are very uh, specific. Some people love it and some people just don't like it. There are a lot more aversions to it. Natsomika and sepia, and white, you no, know? aversion, Natsomika, Ignatia, Ignatia like, doesn't like light colors, and Ignis and Hail C, the eagle, like white. Podophyllum has a specific lighting for yellow, even his tools, we you know, are yellow. So, yeah, we can connect with that. An aversion is a uh, triticum vulgaris with a new remedy and tarantula sepia. Lemon yellow, this very specific color, light yellow. So it's sepia and arsenic iodide is another important liking for that. So that was about colors. So that is a quick short uh, introduction to a little fun subject. Yeah? And uh, if, if it fits in with our remedy, that is one more criteria we have for selecting that. So we also had Women's Day. So what does homeopathy say about Women's Day rights? So we have a lot of remedies in that, which we are going to do. So responsible women we know are orange. And beautiful women, oh, you can go on about Belladonna. I remember the first lecture of Belladonna, always bright and the most beautiful, Remedy in the whole materia medica, lovely eyes, dilated, bright, shining, lovely complexion, and you know, red and uh, flushes very easily. So, most beautiful. Affectionate, of course, phosphorus. Leadership, lycopodium. Ambitious, very ambitious. It falls also in the sixth subclass, Natsomeka. Duty bound. Why do they do everything right and as required? because they want everybody to like them. So that is Kalika. And dancing women, Tarantula, we also can say Sikhya. Yielding women, Pulsatin. But also they yield because they want something. So there are other yielding women like Sargisha who don't do it for wanting. Very egoistic, Palladium, Platina. We just, in the, as Sala mentioned in our SSMS, I just did a differentiation between platina and palladium. Both sometimes come so close, you know, when describing. And we had first day one and then change to the other. Brooding women, you know, always fall in love with the wrong man or whatever. So naturally. Blushing women because they turn so red fast, Ferrum. Jealousy, black is it. Hysterical, Ignatia. Insecure and very, very fearful, Calcarium. One of the most fearful remedies of all the fears. You take all the fears, the fun first remedy will come up. Indifferent, sepia, contented. Saying, I have enough, that way contented. Yes, I, I have enough, but I have this, and I want to care for others, so that gives me a little trouble. So, popular. Confused women, of course, alumina. And then somebody asked me, where is lilium take? So, where is lilium take? Also, again, very egoistic uh, remedy and things very highly of themselves. Yes. So that is our Women's Day special. And now we have to get personal. Okay, I have to come down to my own life. Okay. So as many of you know, this has actually been 
the worst two years of my life in terms of personal trauma. But, but it has really been proven that every dark cloud has a silver lining. We don't believe it when we are going through it, say how can anything be the worst. But really it is a very, very true word if you can look at it. So on this side, in terms of my homeopathic growth, if I had not been restricted to the house, I would not have so much time to pursue so many other approaches. And today we have this fine holy of different approaches in homeopathy. So of course we have the classical and Hanumanian approach, but I don't, I think everything is Hanumanian and everything is classical. Because if Hanuman had gone on, he would have gone, there's nothing anybody's really doing except for polypharmacy or some such thing. Anybody's really doing anything which is not Hanumanian. So I think everything is Hanuman. And so, so many various types of homeopathy here. We have the keynotes approach, which again is just not that. It is just supposed to open the key, unlock the room, and then you explore the key. We have the repertorial approach, which should be with everything. You should do that. Sensation method, the synergy approach, the ICR method, the personal evolution method of Mahesh Gandhi, the Yakis plant, the Shorten mineral. So we have the periodic table. Today we have the plant chart, we have the animal chart, and we have the Sagan mind method. So every day I listen to one or the other method, and I never fail to find a clue for one of my patients who are not in. That means that we as homeopaths have to go on and on, learn. We have to be a student and always open for always eternal learning. My husband always told me, I never attend anybody else's seminar. How can you keep on going? He said, I'm not so bright. I'm a bit stupid. So I have to keep learning. I have to keep everyday learning. Okay. So he found that funny. So, okay, that's enough. I have uh, gone on and on and on with the preamble. So we'll get into the business of learning. So we are not today not going to discuss so much of the physical problems of men say this area menopause depression. But what is the main problem is the adjustment. Anytime you want to ask me something, you can ask me even uh, uh, you know on the chat, Dr. Shala. If you yes, I'm, I'm going into that. I will put it up. Let me tell you. We'll have the question in the session the last month. We have put up on the chat. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, because there are so many cases I'm going to do. Yes. So, so I've selected cases of all adjustment problems. And they all will be in different ways. And some wonderful rubric which I never used, I'm going to show you all. I have never used, you may have used, but it'll be a learning for everyone. So case one, this is really something which is very close to my heart because this patient had been my patient from when she was a child. Then for many years, nothing happened. Then she got married and had children. And mainly she's been bringing her children to me. But I've been knowing off and on, she's been saying, okay, give me something. I'm very unhappy this that. But this time last week, when she was describing her son's allergy, she slipped into her own thing, okay? Just saying that I told him I didn't want him to go out. I really didn't want him. I told him don't go out, but he still doesn't listen. And he went out and then he must have had this banana chip. And you know, my husband called. I mean, just nothing, no connection. He said, my husband called. So I just latched onto that and said, so what did your husband say? So I'm going to show you what he said, what I would have done in the past and what I would have done now. So husband called saying, where are you? I want to speak to you. So what I would have done earlier, what did the patient say? I was sure that he was going to tell me he's losing his job. So what I would have done earlier, if taken fear, news will receive bad, husband lose job is the, and what would I have done now? Is that I took delusion because she's not received, okay? He is expecting unpleasant news. So it's a very nice rubric. News he's expecting unpleasant. Then she said, you know, doctor, now see he went out and he did this and he got this allergy. I do so much. I'm all alone. My husband is away in the Gulf for job. I have to handle everything alone. She's been saying this forever. It is too much now. And she said, I need rest. 
So earlier I would have taken responsibility is too much for want to give up or responsibility aggro. But now I what I latched on to was that she wants rest. She is not getting enough rest. So I took the rubric, bed desire to remain in. You know that? Bed desire to remain in. So then, then she said every day one of his, he's not there, but one of his brothers wrong. Last month, one stayed for one month. I have to do everything. Then they constantly criticize and they complain. So what would I have taken earlier? Accusation, unjust cannot support or appreciate is not or reprimands or reproaches, agree. What I took now, Delusion, enemies surround us because all the time people come and all the time they are saying something, all the time they make her work and all the time they are criticizing or taunting or taking so and making her very upset. So she's constantly feeling attacked. So I took delusion, enemies surrounded by and pursued by enemies. This is that I really feel her. See, mother-in-law, I looked after that was my duty, but brother-in-law, this is too much. So she feels mortified and accused in what I would have said earlier. Now I've taken a more general thing where she's offended all the time by everything they are saying. So this patient continuously complains. I know her for many years. I've never got her remedy right. And I've always been saying, why can't I do something for her? And she never says anything good. You know, about a couple of years ago, I still remember they bought a flat in a new Bombay, a new flat. Very nice, very nice flat. She showed it to me on video and is fetching her rent. But she never says that. She always says, what if my husband will do the job? What will we do? Where will we go? You know, complain, 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 complain. So earlier I would take in an unhappy shame. Now I took indifference, apathy, joy too. Very nice. I thought it very nice. So she said, I've lived in this house looked after my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law was handicapped. They have done nothing. My brothers-in-law have done nothing, but they say they want the house. So earlier, she, I would have like cheated, betrayed. She felt like that. She would use those words. Now I took delusion, deceived she is. Because if they take away, she is the one running the house and doing everything. So she should get it, she feels. Sometimes I feel, just want to die. Okay, suicidal disposition for, or we would think she needs support, appreciation, consolation, all this we would think, yeah? So the, we would have earlier taken all this responsibility, reproaches, neglected, appreciation, delusion, appreciate that she's not, news bad, delusion, neglected, betrayed, mortification, accusation, so much suffering, mortification, that I gave staphyphagia. You can see it in the working. Uh, Pulsitilla comes first, but it is the same family. So I gave staphyphagia nothing. Okay. She continued like this only complaining. So now what do you all think the remedy will come? I want to, somebody to guess. With my new rubrics, what is the remedy which will come? One, two, three. <laughs> Anybody said anything in the no, chat? No. Sapia, Dr. Megha Lambe says Sapia map. Okay, fine. So here, this was Pulsitilla Statisagria. Calicarb also is coming up. Another participant has mentioned that. Which one? Calicarb. Calicarb. Okay, okay. So now she is so lovely, okay? So she deceived. Uh, this is the old one, okay? So now we took delusion. She deceived. Suicidal, knew she's getting bad, offended, indifference, apathy, pursued by enemies, uh, everybody's enemy, and bad desire to be in. And the remedy which covered everything was Drosera. Amazing, isn't it? I gave her one dose of Drosera 200. You will not believe she rang up the next day and said, Doctor, I feel so happy. I, it is just, so these rubrics, I'm just uh, trying, uh, starting to learn 
how many rubrics we have, how many detailed rubrics we have. So it's been a very exciting uh, month for me. I mean, I would never have given Drosera in my earlier avatar. Okay, so I'm really, really, really happy about it. So she said, I'm so much better. Okay, case two, something similar. What means similar on the same, same line? So I've been treating her for a year. So what happened? She said, I'm a little better. Periods are a little better, doctor. Pain is less. So yeah, but there was nothing to write home about. You know what you mean, write home about? I mean that, you no, know, she's done really well. So I was not happy with the results. I mean, I, we can always say, yeah, they are better 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, or oh, 50%, that's good. But today I said, no, that's it. Let's review. So she said, today, doctor, I'm a little bad, better, but I've been very sad after my brother-in-law died. So I'm not taking this little, little better, okay? I said, rest in peace, okay? This little better, I don't want. So talk to me. So let's see what this patient is about. So she is 46. She's an artist. She came to me in 2002 for PMS and lots of that. She was the fourth and last daughter. But she said, doctor, I was so pampered. I was the last youngest. I was very fine. After marriage, atmosphere is very different. Orthodox, taunting mother-in-law. But they were in the gown. So these people moved to Bombay. So she didn't have to deal with the mother-in-law. Then she says, I have these two sons who are wonderful children. They are so attached to me. Everybody says, what have you fed them that they are so obedient and so loving to you? You must have done something very good. They look after my every expression, my every need. Very strange, huh? boys. So she has anxiety when sons will leave for further studies and she'll be alone. So I took the rubric, anxiety, alone, leave. And she said, husband is busy, so miss it. Now she said, he's very dominating and shouts a lot. Sometimes he doesn't, you know, even in the wall, he shouts. But last week was very nice. And why was it very nice? First time she told me this, she said that she always feels very highly sexual after periods. And so those three days that he was there was very nice. So we had another rubric, uh, nymphomania. But sometimes he's out for two, three months. That is difficult. So I took another rubric, which I've never taken before, which is content. And I took anxiety, suppression, sexual desire with. Then she told me, but you know, this brother-in-law. So she was, tell, see, when we are something, she tells us so many things in such a short time. She said she's very sad and depressed because she's been losing a lot of the family, a brother-in-law now, her nephew, some of her friends. So I took grief. Again, another rubric I've never used before. It means after death, one after another. It is there. We just don't see it. We say grief, we say death, we take shock. And then we leave it at, you know, the general level. Then she said, you know, she's an artist. So she said, I paint well. So other artists say, but I've never won a competition, never won a The painting which they did was so, not a Lisa Pita, same themes. And, you know, nothing great. But I will not stoop to make those kind of paintings. But I feel bad when I don't get an award. Other people say, don't work. You work like you. You're doing well. So I took this as envy when you are jealous of somebody else. And we didn't have so many rubies, so I took jealousy. Though envy and jealousy are different. So her totality was anxiety alone being when the sun will leave, nymphomania, continence, grief, prolonged and unresolved, death one after another, sexual libido increase, jealousy, I took climactic period because she's 46 and menses before that. So any idea, any idea at all of the remedy? Anybody? Anything in the chat, Shahala? No, it's coming. Like cases by Dr. Rajini. Okay. Anything else? Kumud has raised her hand. Please, can you type, Dr. Kumud? Lilium Tick, Platina. Calcadia okay. Force. Okay, very good. Thank you. 
so much. Okay, so here it is. So, Kali Brom. So, anxiety alone being nymphomania, it covers covers continents, it covers prolonged grief, uh, unresolved, one death after another, sexual libido increase, jealousy, it should have covered, but because we know it is climactic, menses before, desire suppression, sexual death. So no other remedy, just see, we've taken this, you have said lachesis, this one is covering nine rubrics, okay? Lachesis is an in six, of course, phosphorus is very close, but her whole feeling is not of phosphorus, right? Only loves her sons and nothing else. Yeah, she's not admiring other artists and also not phosphorus. Apis, yes, jealousy, it will come. So it is six. But then so, lachesis is also six. And calcarea phos is so very far. Phosphorus, calcarea is here, six. So... Ma'am, something about platina because we people platina, have no platina. Platina is hardly here. Yes. Huh. In nothing, I can't. The delegates have put it up. So, yeah. So, platina, of course, is a remedy which is like very egoistic. Very egoistic. You know, it will say, here she's saying, I'm a very good artist. Other people are saying I'm a very good artist. So, that kind of little ego is there. But Platina would have not dealt with this problem like this, you know. Of course, also Platina loves sons. You know, no, that about Platina that love the son, daughter often puts a pillow and even suffocates them, daughter. So that is there that the sons are very close to her. So two, three things are there which are about Platina. But Platina doesn't mind being alone so much. She likes prey. She has, of course, nymphomania also. But she doesn't grieve so much about other people. She's not connected. She's into her own thing. If you remember the case I did in uh, the SSML, she is into just herself, you know, about how she is, how she got over her problem, how she was shot, but she managed to be successful. And how angry she got when we told her that now, you know, you're coming after two, three years, you have to pay a little more fees. And she banged the phone. So rude. She. This girl is telling us all the time, I'm better doctor. I'm a little better. So she's trying to be telling you that I'm okay. You know, They don't begin with doctor, your medicine didn't help me. At all. That's what Latina would say. Okay. So, yeah. And all the other things Latina would cover. But surprisingly, Latina is not even featured oh, yes. in this whole thing. It should have come. Oh, it is there. Seven. Sorry. So it is seven. Anxiety being alone, she is not covering. Then it is not covering grief, as I told you. It is not covering death one after another. It kills his own daughter. So you can't expect her to be. So everything else it covers about herself, her sex, her thing. So they love to paint the town red. They love to go out with many people who are appreciative of them. But they are not sensitive to other people. So this is very nice. Actually, this is very nice where they have, it's not covering anxiety alone being, it's not covering prolonged grief and not one death after another. So these are three important points against me. Very important. So she gave a Kali Brown one dose and she said, Doctor, I've been happy all week. Thanks. I thought. Okay. Case three. So any 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 other questions? I don't mind taking questions in between. No questions at the moment. There was just an indication anxiety alone when is indicative of Kali group. So one of the doctors has contributed this. Correct. So anxiety alone being so she's anticipating. Kali as a group is anxiety alone when. So there is a difference. I'm trying to. Just tell you all about these rubrics. Our repertory really, we haven't gone into depth, but it has so much, so much. It is telling us little differences. Going to be is a different thing from be. My most famous uh, Kali uh, patient was a person, was a fellow doctor, and we were in the same clinic, and we both started at the same time. You know, 
So I had been told by Dr. Dhavle that you have to do 100 cases and work them out from A to Z. I four hours it will take me to work out each case. Okay? So I was very busy even if I got one case in a week. He, if he got one case in a week, he would be bored out of his heart. So he would say, let's sit, let's have tea. One tea you can have. No? Then I'd say, okay, I've got to work. So I'd go. Then he would, he would order another tea, another chai wala to sit. So they don't want to be alone and they want company all the time now. They are not anticipating I will be alone. And according to Ali, uh, very beautiful. So, uh, you know, Tyler says and all that. But according to me, they are doing it for a very particular purpose. So for me, Kali is a really selfish for me. I'm just, um, uh, Dr. Vega says, have you given only single dose? And uh, single that, that goes on. Okay. Yes, Dr. Mega. So sometimes I call uh, two days single dose. You know, I give two days BD, BD, which I call a single dose. We will take the next case. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this uh, patient <coughs> is good group, sir. So very successful audiologist. And they had nine centers in the city with a husband. She ran one. This was very significant to me. Why did she run, run only one? So I kept it at the back of my mind. Okay. She came to us in June 2021 for menorrhagia and better with this tablet, you know, uh, monthly tablet 21. <coughs> she also had constipation with bloating. And when she was pregnant, now her son, daughter is 15, but she had severe hyperemesis to any smell, cooking, all that. And she lost eight kilos in those first three weeks. And that was in 2005. About her anger, she said, not much. But if I do, then I shout. And I want to keep myself busy so that I won't shout, I won't brood, I won't cry. No crying, no. She said she is very affectionate towards husband and daughter. I took this with a little pinch of salt. Okay. Anyway, initially I would fight if there is something wrong happening, but now I forgive and forget. So I took this as silent and surprise. She had a lot of fears of height, amusement, speed, losing, losing loved ones, left alone, all that. But her greatest fear was losing her freedom and work. So now she's saying her husband is very dominant. What did she say? I'm very, this, what did she say before? Very affectionate. Very difficult to be very affectionate towards husband and who very dominant. Okay? Yesterday we had a case, very, it was very strange. So she said, husband is constantly telling her to grow up. And in fact, in fact, that was the one thing which made her find her remedy. She's also come to us for many years, long ago, 2000. Now she's not come after four, five years, five years. But so she said, husband is constantly, he tells me, she's, you know, laughing with every symptom that she's saying. All the time laughing. And we always thought laughing and high Alzheimer's and, you know, things like that. So now she'd say, husband's saying, you grow up. But I don't know that. I don't know. So I said, what happens? You get anxious if you're late. Because she told me she sometimes has a vertigo. She has to slide down. But just when she's going to go pick up her daughter. So she said, no, 10 minutes only. But yes, I worry about picking up my daughter. But my husband, no, no. Let him stand in the sun for one hour. She said, let him stand. Go lay down. So she, you can see the anger she has, you know, because he keeps telling her to grow up and do better and all that. So we, that's how it helped us find her remedy uh, and childish. And we were really happy with the remedy because it covered everything. And the remedy was, was, let me see if my team remembers yesterday's remedy. Anybody? Yeah, somebody put up their hand. And she keeps laughing for any little thing. So serious matters, and that's a rubric I took earlier and gave a higher sign. That's the worst. 
So she was laughing all the time. So it was just mirth and so on and so forth. Okay, childish. And she said, "I enjoy with my family. We have one full session of uh, just jokes, but here they are also serious. Don't like serious ones." Mom, graphitis, baraita kab is coming up. Correct. Very good. <laughs> Chahala. So that was Baraita. So we earlier now because sometimes you get prejudice. That's what I want to also tell you. Because her mother-in-law is our patient and she's very hardworking. And even after their marriage of the son, she had to do all the work because this girl never got up early. And then she can't keep the work later. That one will get up and then may not do it. So she gets up early and finishes. So I used to tell her, it's okay. You just pretend she's not there. We have to handle everybody differently. You just do your work. Now it's okay. After that, you are free. If you wait for her, it's more tension. So that's how we handle the mother-in-law. So we always took her as lazy, which she is. She herself said, "I'm a little lazy and laid back, but once I do it, I do it properly. But I don't want to be getting up early. I'll do whenever I want." So she had no like responsibility. You know that work has to be done. Whereas the mother-in-law, the husband are like that. So they. So I'm hoping that Baraita will. We just done it yesterday. I'll tell you later. But it was really nice the way you know when you don't have any prejudice in your mind. You are just looking at her and saying, "What is she saying? She's talking, but she's laughing all the time. What does that mean? That means that she's just happy, happy all the time. She doesn't like serious. So very childish. So that's how we do that. Anyway, so now what is she saying? I am affectionate to my husband. She is not because he all the time dominates, and he decides what to cook also. So nothing he leaves. Everything the solution is you sit at home. Then everything will be on. So that is why she runs that one clinic. He runs the other eight. Okay, so you can imagine that she is very suppressed. So he is very perfectionist. Everything has to be neat and clean. He shouts. It makes me very angry. Then she just gets busy. Yeah, she doesn't want to hear that shout. So she likes to be alone. She does not like people giving advice. She feels angry, blamed, and that this anger, you know, aggravates. She. Trying to, as if the blame, he's trying to justify them. <clears throat> Reserved talks confide only in selected people, but she confides. Patient was born in Bombay, so this is her life story, which is very, very interesting. She father had a business, mother was working with BMC. Childhood, she said, was very good. Both parents were working, but the maid took care of us well. There were no complaints from school because I was very obedient, adjusting, calm, disciplined. So she was timid and obedient. I'm talkative. My brother does not talk much. Not she also didn't talk too much, but the brother must be very intense. Two thousand three, she had an arranged marriage. The school teacher uh, who was uh, she was a favorite student. She gave a reference. Family is nice. They are quite well and all. So initially, they told me not to work in the beginning. You first adjust and all that. Mother-in-law was good, and it was decided from before that we will stay separate. See, even the brother-in-law is also um, one of those audio. He also has some sixteen centers. He was with the parents, so they would move out and have different centers. So that was what was agreed. But after that, when they moved out, the husband blamed her and said he had to leave that maternal house because of him. So he's dominating and very, very secret. He felt surprised that I shared secrets with my mother and my friend. So two thousand five, I was pregnant. This is where the story takes a turn for the worse. On thirteen July. My father was to take me to the doctor for a check. What happened? He was to meet her at the doctor's place, and on the way he met with an accident. He called her saying, "I'm getting admitted. You come to that hospital." I went there immediately. In half an hour, he passed away. So she said it was the biggest shock of me. And in the next month, 
end of July, same month, my mother-in-law also passed away. So she had two big shocks. I was totally devastated with these two deaths. And in October 2020, one of my very close cousins also passed because of COVID. And I felt so helpless, I couldn't help him. I saw him deteriorating in front of me. So I was, rubric was helpless. In March 21, everybody on mother's side was positive for COVID. May 21, in-law side, family, my eldest brother-in-law was positive. And I was very scared because he was admitted in my hospital where I was working in. <clears throat> then the other part of the story. So this was we saw a lot of shocks and food. now brother had just got married that time when the father died. And so the Babi, you know, probably thought because of her something, she's bad luck or whatever it is. He, she said that patient has not come to our house ever. <clears throat> so she also wanted the flat which was left to the patient. So there were two flats uh, the father had bought. One was for the brother, one was for her. So the two adjoining flats. But the Babi said, no, I want that flat. So she agreed to that. Mother told her, don't ever come here again. <laughs> so, you know, that was really very, very shocking. Brother would come to a house for Rakhi and all. Mother would also occasionally talk to her. She went very bad, but you know, now this side also husband is not very supportive or anything. But she went on with her life, so the grief is silent, and she succeeded in whatever. Even as a student, she had been good. That's why that school teacher had proposed that marriage, right? So she got success. So we, I just wrote King series. So I'm trying to tell you that we have to look at cases in all kinds of ways. Husband was also not very kind to her. Wanted to keep give, give up working. Maybe jealous. I don't know the reason. But she went on persisting, you know, carrying on, doing all the work and trying to do everything properly. So that he won't tell her, you stay at home and that is the solution. And she carried on living and carrying on doing her. So one more thing happened. Once her daughter, when she was 11, which was also four years back, said, no, no, you please come to grandmother's house for comfort, which is her mother's. And told grandmother, please let mom come, please let mom come. Now she can't say no. So after so many 11 years, she went. One would think there'd be a little better room. Mother told her, you stay in one room only. I'll give you your food there. Don't come out. She did not even eat with them. Bhabi never even called her. So honor wounded, insulted, humiliated. She felt very bad. Can you imagine that whole scene? It's really bad. She had not gone for 11 years. Then she also she went because the daughter said. And then also she was treated so bad. So yeah, we took all these rubrics. Shock, fear, fright, death, death parents of grief, love, disappointment, grief with silence, deception, reproaches, husband reproaches, ailments from Admonition aggravates, domination by others aggravates. But she had never said that, right? Anger suppressed. So these are the rubrics I took in 2020. Today I've taken few or lesser, unless I'm coming to that. And what they have been always telling us now, what is peculiar, what is persistent, what is prominent. We have to the three P's follow, follow, follow. And take patient's word. Don't all the time interpret. We've been interpreting, I've been interpreting a lot earlier. Now I'm doing much less. Okay. Ma'am, may I interrupt? Because many uh, remedies are coming on the chat. Natrimule being the highest one. And many people have suggested Ignatia as acute and later Natrimule, Dr. Rajni has said. Others have given Ignatia and DD as Staphy. Ignatia again, Natrimule by Dr. Mega again. So these are so, what... So very good. So these are the remedies which are coming up and this is in this kind of a repertory working that will come up, okay? So here, 
what i took peculiar was passionate she was so much passionate about her work and so much industrious i put that for the other case also that she didn't want anything to disturb that i'm willing to do everything submit anything let me continue to work yeah so here it is ignatia is the highest and the only rubric it is not covering is domination by others and i was thinking why it is not covering because she never said that. in her word she said i am affectionate to my husband she just said he wants everything in order i try to do she didn't say he was dominant she just said that he said you sit at home you sit at home still sit at home don't come to me so maybe uh, what it was she doesn't know but she didn't want that so she continued to do work so i was just thinking why that one rubric it is not covering so this is my admonition everything everything it covered and we've given her only english no natural yours okay because she is sensitive she is plant she is sixth sub class which is the king series which is the leader you know so she is a leader right even in school she did well the school teacher unless she was very good won't have offered to another family a girl na unless she was very good so she is good and she is done very good even in her career in spite of all these so we taken king sir and she is also careful and she, she had the shock and all that so ignatia is the this i'm telling you that we have to do all side so so in the loganesi family you have shock so you will come to loganesi you have matsomika and ignatia ignatia is cancer mild so she was also particular about her work and she was also timid she was taking all these insults and therefore she never said that domination is aggravated she was taking the insults quietly like how carson oson take doesn't complain she was not complaining she is saying i am affectionate to them she was not complaining like the other case we saw my first case all the time complain 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 so these are the different thing so here we took all of it we took the family we first took the kingdom which was planned then we took the family which is shock loganesi we took the sub class which was six and we took the miles and we took the rep so we covered the whole thing from all and and this remedy has to and this remedy 21 and since then she has no problem we are in 2023 we haven't treated her in the last one and a half years and that whole problem has gone and not only that but she is much uh you know we had to treat not the physical we had to treat everything so we took one other rubric senses acute because she wants to please her husband allow her to work she's all the time no it is like senses acute means what you have to be constantly aware on a toe that i'll finish all the work otherwise he'll complain otherwise he'll tell me stay at home so very very you have to be acute at what is happening everything on order constantly telling yourself not to mind all this grief and insults and everything just focus on your work so that is um, what we had to see so ignatia did that not only the husband stopped criticizing her but it was so strange the bhabhi smoothed over the relationship so today she is a much more capable but more importantly she is a content so she goes to the bhabhi's house mother calls her brother comes for her he used to come always but now it is open so what kind of medicine is homeopathy it is it is mind blowing i mean who else will ever ever think of you know getting the woman adjusted to her life but not only just adjust as suppressed but with dignity that is my whole thing about this whole uh, approach that it has to be you know that you are treated with dignity that you are doing work you can't be saying that bed jao na ghar mein it's very demeaning no? it's very demeaning you are doing work your patients are saying good but no in the house nobody is saying and you have a bhabhi who says don't come to me what mean what kind of a person am i am i so bad that i can't go to their house so only ignition nothing else 
but uh, kudos to everybody who said uh, Iglesia. Thank you very much. So um, uh, a little more on Steffi, can you please? Because at least many participants have put up Steffi also. Yes. Of course, you so explained Steffi it. Is, okay. So Steffi is which family? Ranunculus. Okay. So it comes in the first subclass. So first subclass is much more, not so mature. It is very more childish. Okay. Because you have to remember, Steffi, we always thought mature. But because it is in the same family as Pulsatina, we understand it's quite a little bit childish. And she did not feel mortified. We haven't taken mortified in her. She, in spite of everything, she just told herself, I have to adjust, I have to adjust, I have to adjust. And with anger, she didn't tremble. She said, I get angry, I take, I get busy. So who also gets busy? Like it says, Platina. Platina mainly wants to work. So that her anger. So she also wants to work. So not only will it take away her little anger, but she won't feel it and things will be proper in the house and in the place. So Staffy is like saying that I get angry and I tremble with anger because I'm keeping it inside and it's making so much effort to keep it in. It is not just easy. This one is saying I'm affectionate to my husband. It is any who can say to a husband who is not letting you do your work, who can say? So it is not becoming a mortification. All this has happened to her. We interpret it. That's what I'm saying today. Don't interpret. What she is saying, you take. Not that you take affectionate, because it is not a, a prominent symptom in her case. I'm just saying. She was insulted, yes. But whether it, she was mortified, we don't know. Because as soon as they called her back, she went. You know, staff doesn't forgive so easily. Staff will still take a lot of time to forgive. Because he suffered so much that it's not easy to say yes. So it is, remember, it is still the first step now. This woman is very capable and doing very well. She could have run all the nine also. Maybe that's why the husband is so scared. We don't know. Again, that is interpretation. I don't want to go there, but I'm just telling you, she's very kid. Any more questions? No, ma'am. So I have one more case. I kept this separate because I didn't know if we have time. Okay, so this is one case which I've done in our webinar before in great detail, okay, in two years back. So I'm just going to do her main thing here. So this young doctor, 33, came to us for chocolates is a huge period problem. What was of utmost importance was her story. So that is what we are going to do. So she was born... Any more questions? I can see a lot of things in the chat. Ma'am, one question. Uh, Dr. Sejal says, had it been natural in this situation, how would you have reacted when told, when she would have reacted when told not to work? So natural would, first of all, just keep on brooding. What is the maximum rubric in natural mood is brood, 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 about things which happened long ago. Now, she told you the story, but she's not constantly brooding. She's just working. Okay? So, yes, we know Ignatia and Atomur is a chronic of Ignatia. But today, we have gone a little bit ahead in the sense that Nisha has a whole thing of its own. Atomur has a whole thing of its own. And in the periodic table, first of all, if it is plant, then you be with plant. And if it is mineral, yes, she's working very well. But she also got a lot of shocks, which also natural had. See, rubrics when somebody gave you what, let's go back to that. You want to go back to that repertory? Natural note come high. It's not that it doesn't come. 
but natrum first of all it is always choosing wrong part here she didn't choose she was given something she accept okay she they thought that okay it's a successful for family big family good job everything and they accept it so it was not that she chose and she was the wrong and natrum doesn't then when doesn't like goes into a thing and doesn't want that relationship here she is still kind to continue and divert her energies to something else or work okay natrum not always able to do that it is in the periodic table in the it is in the third row which is still in the evolution of the personality and it is the second mid okay so it is not so developed and therefore it broods it broods constantly over things which happened many years and you will have all these things i'm not saying that you can't give natrum without a headache but yeah with if it's not headache and not then salt is not there i will think five times before giving that i mean not that i will not give it uh, but i will think anything else many doctors have expressed their thanks for such a wonderful explanation at least three to four messages dr shailendra dr sachin dr sejal okay so now this um, girl was very shy also very reserved never shared anything so we took introverted and see she had severe ichthyosis okay horrible she felt very embarrassed as a child in front of her because it is in the hand everybody could see so she was very embarrassed the grandmother always criticizing you are very bad skin very bad skin. no the family also doesn't support you say okay beta you have okay everybody has something different that's what grandmother should say no that's what we think no that your mother and grandmother should be positive to you but grandmothers are still of the old gener and still think girls are nobody anyway nothing only sons are good so they saying what bad skin you have toad skin you are girls you do not you never get a husband all kinds of things grandmothers say okay so her mother used to make make her wear full sleeves that is all right and full socks to hide all my skin so she felt embarrassed but she said that life was good with my brothers so she was happy with her brothers playing they always took care of me and she is very obedient very timid she said i have to help mom because she was working in a bank so i have to help her with all the house you can see how obedient and timid she is my family was conservative so apart from that theosis she was not allowed to play out but i wanted to play so there is suppression of emotion this is what we have to take then on march 24 2008 she was married she said i was studying in first year bhm in alibag and got this proposal of my husband so my family was conservative so decided we'll get her engaged don't have to get married you can get married little later so they proposed a long engagement but a father in law who had really chosen her and liked her and would talk to her and really liked her he had a stroke and he died so she lost her support kind and thing would have been different if he had been there but he was not there they could even blame her you never know what to say people think na huh? so there's also a myth there is someone in the family expires and engagement marriage should be done within a year so they said not so i took superstition i was very innocent listen everything what my father parents said so he took the maid me my husband was ready but my mother in law didn't want this marriage the father in law had chosen father in law didn't want. she even returned my ring see she didn't want it at all very unhappy she didn't want a educated daughter so she was very jealous of me since day one sometimes you may think jealous whether it belong to her to her but i didn't take 
even on the married day she made faces at me so she is going with so much uh, problem right into her marriage on reception day food went short maybe more guests they called sometimes it happened so my husband had to face problem he blamed my family so rubric is blame i always kept quiet i doesn't go and answer that husband was arrogant blunt and very stubborn my life turned upside down from day one of my marriage so see what all we have to deal with i just feel that women who come to homeopaths are really so lucky that they have somebody to listen to them or talk to them or even face you know understand their problem and so on so she said my life turned upside down from first day of my marriage i mean to what lengths the mother in law sometimes i don't know my husband was so angry he should throw the costliest phone in and i was stunned you know my marriage i'm so helpful understanding caring and he was totally opposite i was stunned so it's again like fear of right so when somebody you've never seen from your family anybody throwing at the more the grandmother told her in what horrible skin you have but nobody you know so violent at his place nobody accepted me my mother in law and sister in law were just too jealous of me they don't even talk to me properly they always look at me angrily and they always criticize my husband didn't allow me to go to my mother's place and stay at all so you know it's like a prison he would shout at me i felt he was possessed i tried to do all the work and help but my mother in law never showed me love or praise she even removed the servant my husband also never praised he always told me you may be a doctor but you have to do all the household she made me do all sorts of work didn't keep even a servant whatever servant they had also they threw out so we took industry she did it they always said negative about me and insulted they didn't want me to complete my studies harris do but i can still complete so you can see the grit i didn't want to they didn't want me to work or to practice they said very bad things about me and my parents they used very abusive words i think i mean what kind of low class people i'm staying in the meantime she had already been pregnant in the college itself she bled a lot but still had her children and so on. but now i have become a little strong and fight for myself but they i this is before the homeopathy they isolate me in the whole family still nobody talked to me in a good manner i'm tired i'm weary i don't want to please anyone i'm living with my husband for the sake of my two kids so here what do we have what do we have we have a person who all the time adjusting she's working 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 she's taking all the insult she's not being able to even go to her mother's house you know maybe she meets her outside or something and talks about it nobody talks to her nobody supports her so what is and she feels that she is put down so if you had to think now of uh, what what would you say plant mineral animal yeah dr jayshri says uh, mineral and silicia dr manisha says plant kingdom okay so here what has happened to her 
See, in all the cases, Dr. Rama see, has uh, given input of Platura, Lactan, and Lac Deflorid by two different doctors. Plat, plant again. Most of the uh, doctors are for plant. So she is saying that she has been really uh, put down. She so we have seen everybody has been put down. So what is the difference we have to see, right? So here she has also been put down. All the four cases have been put down in some way or the other. Each one has reacted differently. So here she also continued. She had a great, she continued with her work, but they still made her feel so low, so low as if she was nothing. And they treated her like a servant. So it was that she's really been put down. So, and she is becoming, standing up for herself a little. But she not, she's finished her studies, going, going somehow. But she was not allowed to work till she came to us and now she's working. Okay, so she was not. So she was weary. And she was just carrying on because of that. So here in this case, because it has a lot to do with, uh, uh, you know, up and down, treated very badly like a servant, we took it as a mammal king of an animal kingdom and we took prey animal. You can say mineral, she worked and she did her work. But she was feeling all the time bad, you could say she's plump. But she's not telling you she's crying and she's very sensitive. And she's not saying all these things. She just felt what kind of a low family was. She took all that abuses in her kind of stride, in the sense, without weeping and complaining and crying. She said, I have to live because I have two children. And it's not that my, my parents' family is so well that they can support fully. Okay? But we can, we have to do that. We have to also take it from other angles. So we should not just take it from kingdom, from prey, then come to the remedy. We have to also take the rubric. We have to also take understanding. Okay? So here, if I take that, I've just, I've just bare insult. So animal, prey, and I took lack equine. Okay, now let us do the rubrics. So, but this is one side. Now the other side also has to support. So she was very embarrassed as a child, very obedient, timid, superstition. There was jealous, I don't know. She doesn't answer back and abandon. Blamed unjustly, but she was very helpful, understanding, very industrious. Appreciated, she's not loved, she's not weary of. So all these rubrics we take, embarrassment will take, embarrassment, aggravation will take, timidity will take. She's saying, I'm so compassionate, I to help my mother and all. Forsaken, industrious, appreciation, she would lie. And she felt that it was unjust and she didn't lie. And of course, she was very scared when he threw that thing. So we can take fear of right areas. So if we take all this, we would think carcinosin will come. But it is amazing that lac equinum covered every single thing. Can you see it? It covered embarrassment. It covered ailments from embarrassment, timidity, sympathetic, forsaken, industrious. So lac caninum won't cover all that. Some it won't cover. Because Lacananum tries to please. Now she was just doing whatever she had to do. She didn't go uh, out of her way to please, which is what Lacananum does. She wants appreciation. She doesn't like injustice. And that fear of right also. So most important is the industriousness. Okay. So Lacananum doesn't have so much industry and so much economy. She is telling you her story in a kind of a neutral one. She's not weeping, she's not crying, she's not showing so much emotion. She told you this whole story in a kind of neutral, you know, <coughs> man. So though she's timid, though she went through everything right from childhood, she is still getting the guts to become a doctor. It's not very small thing. So she and she said, okay, I have to do it. I will suffer, but I have to live for my children's sake, where they live. But I will still finish that. Imagine going against all odds to finish your thing. So many people, women I know, 
who sat at home, right? So, any questions? Ma'am, two important questions. But Dr. Rama, she says, please give DD with lac defloratum. And Dr. Harsha says, please give details of lac equinum as a person, as an individual. Okay. So, lac defloratum, we know she's a cow. Na? So, cow, we know what it does. It gives. It gives and gives and gives. She's not giving, giving. You can't see. She is just taking her own stand and doing whatever she has to do. She's not giving and saying, oh, my husband, I love you so much. I will do this for you. I'll do that for you. My mother-in-law, I will do more for you so that you love me. No, or take care. That defloratum is the cow. It more take care of everybody. It is like, no, no, giver. And lack equilum is a horse. It has got a lot of power to do everything. But it, it holds its own dignity. It, she held on to her kind of dignity and went ahead and finished her study somewhere. Okay, lack caninum will sometimes go down and try to please more, do more things to please that mother. I'm not saying she would have been pleased, but she didn't. She, whatever she had to do, there no servant. She had to do the work she did. And lack equinum as a personality, it is a, it is a prey animal. So remember that it will be abused, but it has so much power of its own and it is by, on itself, it is like, uh, it will do, it will do for that one person whom it loves, do anything for the master. It will do anything. Even if the legs are paining and everything, it will still run. But you have to have that bond with that person. If you have seen a horse movie, like I watch these days the serial called Heartland. It is all about horse. I can see how much you know, they bond. And then when you, it can, it can immediately feel your mood. So there was one uh, episode in that. There was another artist. So this girl who it is about is a horse whisperer. You know what horse whisperer is? They can talk to horses. And she's a trainer. So she all kinds of horses, she can make them better. All right. You know, they have a problem. Or they are not running well. She sorts out what the problem is and makes them better. So there was one episode where um, the, 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 she's an artist. That Lady Jane is an artist. And she has a very nice horse and they've been going together. Now she's come and taken a weekend uh, place for a running class near this girl's uh, farm. And they go riding on a train and the horse sees the cougar. And then uh, cougar is a kind of mountain lion. And then it's the thing and drops that woman and runs it. So she very surprised and said he never behaves like that. So this girl who is the horse whisperer, she takes her and again they go on a ride and see the cougar and she tells the horse don't worry, it's okay, it's okay. And the horse doesn't risk. <coughs> so the girl tells that artist that there is something else, you know. I think the horse can sense that you are not, uh, you know, you have something wrong. So the horse got, I mean, the artist got very angry and said, I've called you to treat the horse, not me. Then next day she said, okay, okay, I'm sorry. It's true, I'm getting, going blind. Uh, so imagine, you know, an artist going blind. How will I ever do? I'll never be able to ride a horse. She said, no, that's not true. The horse and you have a bond and I've seen that bond, but you have to trust that horse. So horse, if you trust it, it will not do anything to you, not bite. Whereas a lack caninum, the dog, if you irritate it, it can bite even though it is your dog. Can you see the difference? Can you see the difference? Can feel it? You have to feel it. A horse is a much more mature. I'm just talking about the dog so you don't have to bite. So, that is the difference between lack equinum and lack Caninum and lack defloratum. Yeah.
So with the remedy, she was able to take a stand. She even employed a servant to help her with the children. She started a practice and she started garnering respect for it. So that is, she was able to take a stand, but she was not able to get a respect, you know, that kind of dignity. The husband has to have, then he won't abuse her like that. You have to have that wall. I always tell patients, you have to have that thing that they can't abuse you and treat you. You don't have to say anything. You just have to have that demeanor that you can't say anything this much. That's all. So that is what. So as homeopaths and especially you, we have to treat them. We have to unearth their deepest secrets and fears and help them deal with them. Live life gracefully and with respect which they do. So um, after four cases, I think uh, very telling cases. So we have to be graceful and tell them to treat us with respect. We don't have to say, hello, treat me with respect. No, it's not going to happen. But they can understand that, you know, they cannot approach you more. They cannot treat you any. They can get you to do work. They can tell you that, yes, you have to do so much work. But that's about it. So what have we learned today? We have done two things. We have to treat all patients, not only female, male have mm -hmm. enough problems. I have, I wanted to do some male cases also who are a little bit like females, but another time. So um, they have to, again, I have this man whose wife has been so dominating him all the time. And he's now, you know, finally getting divorced. So, but he's still not secure. He has so many problems. So, like that. Because he never took a stand. And uh, then the other thing is that we have to see it from many angles. And today, most important is we have to go back to what people have been telling us to take rubrics and see the mind chapter and learn more about the mind chapter. Shobha doctor will agree with me. And to take Persistent, predominant, and peculiar. And try not to interfere. Okay? So we have these two take-homes today. And uh, any more questions? I'm here. I'm so happy that the chat has 57 entries. That's really nice. So uh, you please don't mind that I've taken away Dr. Lata's uh, lovely, wonderful cases. Which we are going to share with you in April, right, Dr. Lata? So you all must all be there. And uh, if any any of you want, we can put uh, the colors chart uh, on the Telegram group or something. Or we can put the females chart. So any other question, Dr. Shahana? Um, no, all of them are overwhelmed by the presentations. A lot of thanks are coming. Just thanks, thanks, thanks. At least six to seven of them. And really, ma'am, it has been a wonderful, what you call, uh, presentation. Uh, to all our doctor delegates who have newly joined and things, we are very lucky that uh, the presentation of today was just uh, icing on the cake. Week after week, every Thursday, uh, please log on to ma'am's, what you call, Rosie Day family presentations that we are having because I think uh, today's lecture personally for me has been very enlightening one because I've always been attending these lectures and today it was enforced completely. The DDs were just coming in my mind. So to all of those people who uh, want to learn more, have more in depth and want to listen to ma'am more because so many thanks are coming ma'am, that's only thank you. So I'm not taking each one's name but uh, so I'm requesting them to join the Thursday seminars and benefit like me. So I want to tell you that next Thursday, we are not going to do rosy day. We're just going to do cases like we had earlier and get CME. So all of you can, even if you've not been attending rosy day, you can come for the next Thursday, three to five. So we'll put in a number you can contact. Okay. And uh, I think doctors are also asking whether we will get today's what you call link. Yes, definitely. It within will come, no? it will come in the YouTube channel of NJ. In two weeks' time, it will all be there. Okay, we 
we don't want to keep anything secret. There's nothing secret in homeopathy. Okay, everything is there. What is their secret? And today's time where you can keep secret. I still remember one um, long ago, 10, 10, 15 years ago, one doctor came to me and said, I want to write in your journal. I said, what about? He said, I've treated so many cases of vitiligo. I said, okay, so give me a case and tell me what medicine. Is. No, no, I won't share my medicine with you. <laughs> I said, we also are doctors. We know what vitiligo is. So if you don't tell us how the case progressed and what you did and how it helped, it's no good for us, right? Unless I tell you the remedy, I'll tell you all these people are doing very good. I won't tell you the remedy. What will you learn? What will you come and listen? Yes, we also know that we can treat. At the most, you'll learn that yes, you have to listen to patients, but you have to know the remedy also, right? So, so next Thursday, do come. We'll keep uh, this thing. So thank you so much for being a very patient and a very interactive. 84 is like a huge number. Uh, you know, to interact with the so that's good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Okay, then, good night. Good night, ma'am. We will meet quickly then. Oh, yes, for the, the link. Thank you.